Hey everyone, just wanted to take a few moments and share about uh, my story and just what Christ has done in my life and just share a little bit of my testimony uh, just because Easter Sunday is coming up and uh, yeah, so just wanted to share uh, that with you. So growing up, uh, I was raised in a Christian uh, family um, where my dad, he was a uh, teacher and principal and so I ended up going to uh, Christian school from sixth grade. Uh, from kindergarten, excuse me, to sixth grade, and then uh, I was also involved in a youth group and, and church and kids program. Um, so that the head knowledge was all there. Like I, again, I understood what Christ uh, had done for me on the cross, um, but I didn't really like. I didn't view that as a personal relationship with Jesus. I viewed that uh, more as a, a ticket to heaven uh, or like a get out of get out of hell free card I don't know what you want to call it um but I, I didn't I didn't view that as anything serious you know it wasn't personal I, I wasn't pursuing him um so I, I just I and I remember like my, my parents had said I was saved and and everything um but I just remember feeling like uh it just it wasn't important in my life um and so when I was 12, I remember talking with my mom and uh, just asking her some questions. And I just, I just said, you know, I don't even remember even accepting Christ as a kid. Not that the prayer even matters, but uh, for that amount of time, I just remember feeling like uh, I, you know, it wasn't anything real. You know, it wasn't a, a genuine relationship. So um, my mom ended up leading me in a prayer and. Um, again, not that any of that gets you saved, but it was, I just came to the understanding that, uh, Christ uh, died on the cross for my sins. There was nothing that I could ever do to earn my salvation, but that it was a free gift. Um, and that, uh, um, yeah, it was just about, uh, pursuing a relationship with him, you know, I, and, you know, an eternal life is, is, is definitely part of that. Um, but just, you know, understanding it's just not all about that eternal life, but, uh, just building that relationship with Christ, pursuing him. Um, so, uh, after, after that, um, uh, I'd like to say my relationship with Christ was, was great. Uh, you know, I kept on pursuing him, but honestly it was pretty stagnant. My junior, uh, junior high, high school, um, even when I was at Bible college, like, looking back on it now, like I, again, like I was getting all this information. I was, um, about who Jesus was and even about scripture, you know, diving in and, but I just, I never really, um, I never really applied that. Um, I knew that you needed to be consistent with your spiritual disciplines, like daily devotions, uh, prayer, um, small groups, you know, you know Bible studies, all of that, but I just didn't do it. Um, and you know church involvement like I, I knew i knew everything um there i just didn't apply it and it wasn't until after um uh, bible college a couple years after that that i that i uh, realized like man i really need to take this seriously um so i started getting involved in church at, at new hope and uh started serving on uh the uh tech team and uh and youth group and everything um, so that's been a huge uh, blessing in my life, and I'm super thankful for that. Um, but yeah, so just wanted to kind of share up to that point uh, with you guys. And um, if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, uh, Facebook message me. Um, and I'd love to answer any questions that you guys have um, just uh, on my testimony or even what the Lord's doing in my life um, right now. So and I'd also like to invite you to... Um, our online service, church service at 10 a.m., it's with New Hope Community Church, and I would love uh, to see um, Christ change your life as well. So uh, thank you guys so much for uh, tuning in, and uh, just thanks for, thanks for listening. All right, we'll see you.